a mindset that we have to get out of when it comes to energy is that energy needs to be one form or one or two forms. We're going to need in the future a portfolio of energy types. We'll need solar, we'll need wind, we'll need geothermal, we'll need biomass, because none of these things are going to provide us with everything that we need. The United States has one of the great wind and solar resources in the world. We have an enormous wind resource in our country, something like five times what's needed to electrify our country. Wind energy today provides less than 1% of our electricity. This is an indigenous resource. This is a resource we have right here in America in a robust way forever. That has huge energy security. There's no balance of payments problems with the, with the air. If you look at a map of our country, the best wind resource is all across the Great Plains. However, that's not where the, the big populations are. The populations are on the coasts and around the Great Lakes. And so we're going to require a lot of transmission to move that energy from where the great winds are to those coasts. However, if we develop the low wind speed turbines effectively, we'll be able to actually move the turbines closer to those load centers around, say, like the Great Lakes, as well as in Appalachia and in Pennsylvania, and those regions that have maybe a little bit lower wind regimes. If you're looking at new electricity sources, wind power is in many cases less expensive than, for example, new natural gas power plants or even new coal burning power plants because the technology has gotten so good.